Sydney Powell, I'd like to welcome you back once again here to One America News. We've had you on before, not here at our palatial studio, so I want to thank you very much for sitting down with me again. Oh, my pleasure. So you and I were both in the courtroom. What were your impressions of the Flynn hearing? Well, it was very unusual. I've never been in a sentencing hearing like this before. There were a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of unexpected angles to it. Um, I was surprised that the judge took the approach that he did. I was really hoping for much more of a Brady inquiry than we got. I was hoping the judge would ask a lot more of the government about the evidence they've provided. Of course, we don't know what's under seal that he's gotten, but judging from the references to things that I've seen in the public record, I don't think they've provided all the material that they're supposed to have provided. And I've got an article in the Daily Caller about all the information I think they should have provided but haven't. For example, the uh, 302 that the judge even referred to in the minute order as the original 302 from the first uh, interview is not the first 302 by Agent Pientka. It's the second one that Agent Stroke wrote and we still don't have Pientka's original notes unless somehow they've magically appeared because he did say there was a filing at 10.13 this morning of something they inadvertently omitted from their filing yesterday. So, you know, it's just kind of one mysterious thing after the other. Now, do you think in this case that Judge Sullivan was coming down hard on Flynn or was he coming down hard on the government or was it just a general frustration that he was feeling with the whole process? I think he was frustrated with the whole thing. I think sometimes he seemed to be coming down hard on Flynn. I think sometimes he was throwing some fairly significant darts at the government. I'm not sure they really understood that in their arrogance, but they are going to have some questions to answer. In fact, I thought one of the most significant things to the hearing came very quietly at the end that a lot of people may not have picked up on, and that is that he has more questions for the government. I think he really wanted the delay, but he didn't want to ask for it himself because he has more questions that he's going to be sending the government and will allow the defense to answer also, including such things as how were these statements material, which is an essential element of the offense that the government has to prove, and that goes to challenge the very factual basis for the plea. Now, looking at, at the hearing itself, we saw Judge Sullivan at one point, big dust up, he's, he's throwing out the word treason, he's questioning whether you know, Flynn sold out the country. What was his purpose in that line of questioning? He was trying to shut down a lot of the narrative that's been out there where people have been accusing Flynn of being a traitor and treasonous. He was trying to get the government to say, no, he did not commit treason, and the government finally had to come back and admit that. Um, the uh, special counsel assistant had to go look at the statute to make sure he was correct in saying that. Of course, I was sitting there knowing that was true already, and Judge Sullivan knew that too, which is why he was asking. But yes, they, had to, they were forced to admit it wasn't treason. They were forced to admit that his call with, Judge, with Ambassador Kislyak was perfectly lawful. And when Judge Sullivan, uh, when he kind of implied that, oh, it might be a Logan Act violation, Judge Sullivan said, oh, you mean that statute that you've never indicted, that's never, nobody's ever been indicted for? And the whole courtroom burst out in laughter. Well, as it stands, the case continues. It's going to continue forward. Sidney Powell, we hope to have you on more and more as the case does continue. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.